We're here at Eurobike in Friedrichshafen, in Germany. We're on the Silverback stand. I'm with Raoul, and he's going to talk us through the highlights of the 2014 range from Silverback. We're starting with the Signo Technica mountain bike, and um, it's interesting. Tell us about it. I'll tell you a few things about the Signo Technica. Firstly, it's got two wheel sizes, so we've got a 29er on the front, which has got provides really smooth rollover over bumps, it's got good cornering traction due to a large contact patch. And then on the rear, we have a 275 rear wheel, which remains agile, strong, and almost indestructible, really. So basically, you've got short chain stays, which help agility. You've got a low center of gravity over the rear, so you can steer really well um, using your bum, essentially. So it's got a nice trail ride feel, and uh, all around, it creates a nice geometry. So it's not just about the wheel size. What else is new on this one? The key features of the bike to make it really universal are a dual position fork, which adjusts from 140 millimeters down to 110. You've got through axle on the front and the rear, and you've got a one by 10 drivetrain system, which uses a wide ratio of set and a special tooth profile, so you don't need any chain guide. So it's quite light, and very flexible, agile for any kind of trail ride. So we've moved on now to the Sparta one from suspension mountain bike. Val, why are you so excited about this one? The Sprada 1 suspension bike is essentially 110 mm rear travel, 120 front on a 29er platform. And the key feature of the bike is the fact that the bottom bracket uh, concentric pivot leads to the rear triangle on a really solid linkage. So it keeps the rear triangle laterally stiff and things really supple so that braking uh, forces don't affect suspension, braking forces don't affect suspension. So all around is really fun uh, and agile 29er full suspension bike. So we moved on now to the Scalera 1, Silverback's flagship road bike. Tell us about it. For sure, our 2014 Scalera 1 uses a Durace 11 speed draft. It's got deep section carbon aluminium rims for high speed advanced riding. And essentially, it's an all round road race frame, very stiff aerodynamic um, carbon layer with thin C stairs for a little bit of added comfort. And we've added two different offsets for the forks to help with the geometry handling through the different sizes. So it's aerodynamic, quite often there is a bit of a payoff when it comes to weight and comfort with aero bikes. How does the Scalera 1 stack up? The Scalera 1, we, quite, we thought about it quite carefully. We wanted quite a stiff front end, so the front end's quite rigid and, and solid. It's got a horizontal top tube, which also allows the airflow to go quite uh, straight forward, pretty much like time trial bikes. And we've added some comfort into the rear triangle. We've got thin, truncated aero profile seat stays, which add a little bit of comfort. And the weight of 1,000 grams is really competitive with a small round uh, robot. 